and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ once raised from the dead dies no more, death has no more dominion over him. In dying he dies to sin once for all, in living he lives to God. See yourselves therefore as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man comes also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. <clears throat> As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 112 Alleluia. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and have great delight in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land, a generation of the faithful that will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in their house, and their righteousness endures forever. Light shines in the darkness for the upright, gracious and full of compassion are the righteous. It goes well with those who are generous in lending and order their affairs with justice. For they will never be shaken. The righteous will be held in everlasting remembrance. They will not be afraid of any evil tidings. Their heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their heart is sustained and will not fear until they see the downfall of their foes. They have given freely to the poor. Their righteousness stands to be exalted with honour. The wicked shall see it and be angry, and they shall gnash their teeth in despair. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Letter to the Corinthians. Now if Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead, how can some of you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then we are even found to be misrepresenting God because we testified of God that he raised Christ. If Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile and you are still in your sins. Then those also who have died in Christ have perished. If only this life we have only if, if for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are of all people most pitied. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where O oh, death is your sin is your sting. Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, 
who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David, in the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Let us pray. We pray today for everyone who works in the NHS, for everyone who works in care homes, for everyone who cares and supports others who are vulnerable at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the people of God. May we awaken this day to a new creation where Christ is risen, and our souls shall be saved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who struggle at this time, through isolation, through loneliness, through lack of contact. Be with them in their hearts, and let them know the true power of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray especially today for the family of Mike Wilborn, for his wife Phyllis, for John, Denise and Mark. The funeral will take place today for, for Mike, so our thoughts are with his family. We also pray for the family of Pauline Lucas as they come to terms with her sudden death. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death, to make all things new in him. Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. <coughs> Rejoicing in God's new creation, <coughs> let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. <coughs> 